hey guys today nope I nope nope watch. i can't watch nope nope i can't i can't watch nope 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 no no so lately i've been watching a lot of pregnancy and baby related videos and yeah i had to just go to tiktok to watch some more yes i had to re-download the app i deleted the app at some point because it was just too much for me yeah so i had to re-download tiktok and i like to see what they have there that is related to pregnancy and raising babies okay so let's go <laughs> So let me just search for pregnancy and see what comes up okay <sighs> oh my god oh my god what is that <gasps> look at this woman's bump oh my god what is that, that <laughs> what is that oh my god you guys i've never been someone who had a very big bump like my bump has always been cute and you know <laughs> it gets bigger when it gets to the end of my pregnancy but I've never really had a very big bump but looking at this woman's bump I'm like oh my god oh my god let me look for something else please Your heart don't stand the chance. Aww. yeah so this is a very cute video um yeah I'm very realistic well let me not say <laughs> others are not realistic but this is a very realistic video of how you can actually dance when you are almost due. I see people when they are due doing like proper, proper baby mama dance, and I'm like, wow, like, wow, I can't relate. I can't relate. Um, in my first pregnancy, when I was in the hospital, I was told not to move because my water was already leaking. So I couldn't move so that, you know. Then the second one, I didn't even know that they were going to induce me. So I was just in the hospital thinking, okay, I still have time. Next thing, the baby started coming out. Labor was very, very short for my second pregnancy, okay? So hopefully for this pregnancy, I'll be able to do some sort of baby mama dance, okay? <laughs> I hope. Okay, this looks like a cute video. Let's see this video. With my water broken, obviously. Doing makeup. Who does makeup when they are going to the hospital? Not me, not I. <laughs> makeup is usually the last thing on my mind. And for me, my water never broke. Um, yeah, I had liquid, like the, um, the water was leaking, but it didn't break. I had people say that when it breaks, they'll hear a loud pop and then the water will just start gushing down their legs. It didn't happen like that for me, okay? But let's continue watching. Husband freaking out with all the bags. Am I the only one who's... Am I the only one whose husband does not freak out for anything? Like, my husband will just be very calm, carrying the bags. Like, it's me that will be freaking out. Like, let's move. Let's go. He's always very calm. So, yeah. But this is funny to see. And I think it's cute when I see husbands who actually freak out when their wives are in labor. It's, it's cute to see. Yeah. But I'm not sure I want a freaking husband when I'm in labor. Like, let me do the freaking. You better be calm where you are, okay? Are you about to push a baby out of your, your vagina? No. So, you better be calm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah moms are usually very emotional at that period that's one thing about being a mom you never you never stop being a mom okay you never stop being a mom even when your kids are grown you are still going to worry about them you're still going to be emotional about them even when they're having their own kids even over their grandkids they're still going to be emotional <laughs> the brother even ran in the wrong direction okay let's see gender review gone wrong okay let's see this one uh oh <laughs> the wrong direction <laughs> yeah that what happens yeah when you open it in the wrong direction let's see okay let's see this one I just found out that a woman has her period for 40 days after giving birth. Um, no, it's not that it's not true for a lot of people. Um, yeah, for some people like for my second pregnancy, I think I bled for just a week plus. But my first pregnancy after I had my first daughter, I bled for nine weeks straight. That's how many days? Seven times nine is what you do the maths, okay? Um, let's see. 
Pregnancy struggles. Okay, let me see if I can relate to this one, man, because... Oh, I can relate to this feeling. Do you guys see... Okay, let, let, I don't know, we can't, we can't go back, but do you guys see that face she made when she was trying to stand up? I make that face every single time I want to stand up from my bed. It is not funny at all. Like, my bump is now getting very heavy for me. I have to turn to the side. I have to make different kind of grunting sounds to stand up from my bed. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, I can't bend properly anymore. Sometimes I forget. I want to now try to bend and now. Yeah? Yes, for wearing my shoes, because I've been agile and active for a while, I didn't realize that it was actually getting a struggle to wear my shoes. Normally, I just put my legs in slippers and I just, you know, go about my day. So one day, I wanted to wear shoes recently and to bend down and wear my shoes were just was just very very painful like it was painful to to bend i couldn't stretch i couldn't even reach the, the buckles of my shoes yeah that's actually a pregnancy yes. struggle okay let's see this one does your vagina turn green or blue during pregnancy i know it's a tricky one if you said blue then you'd be correct sorry i don't have any prizes but that's a great fact to keep in the back of your mind when there's like awkward Excuse silences me? at parties i don't know anyways many women will get blue vaginas and it's due to varicose veins like and follow for more odd facts what <laughs> i've never ever heard this before ever ever have you guys ever heard it before I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never experienced it. Anyway, at some point, I even stopped seeing itself. I stopped seeing my VJJ, so there's really nothing I can do about it. But what? Maybe for away people, sharp. For away people that are already fed, the ones that can turn blue. But what? Although it's actually not hard to believe because sometimes down there feels so sore, like so so sore that I feel like holding it up. <laughs> Actually, not like I feel like I actually do hold it up sometimes when I'm walking. Like when I'm lying down for a while and I stand up and I want to just go and get something from the fridge or I want to go downstairs. Yes, I literally have to put my hand and support it. Yes, not my bump. Support my VJJ, okay? <laughs> yeah. Because it feels very sore. It feels bruised. It feels like... It feels very bruised. So I can understand if it turns blues, like blue, but... What? Okay, so I just entered by third trimester. So let's see something about this third trimester. Okay. Yes, yes, my belly is now my my. <laughs> yes, you guys. A lot of things don't fit me anymore. I almost wore my pajamas for this video. I almost. And you're going to see my pajamas in my next video. Like, because nothing fits me anymore. And I cannot go and be buying maternity clothes anymore. Like, yeah, I'm done. So, when you guys start seeing me in my pajamas, next time you see me in my bra only, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> you know that it's getting serious. But yeah, nothing fits anymore. Shaving. Who, who tries to shave? I don't even try to shave. I'm only going to shave when it's close to my delivery time just just because but yeah i don't even try to shave anymore like my legs can be like a chubeka's legs for all i care i don't care okay yes oh my god the kicks in the ribs are now becoming worse like yes initially you know initially when you're having all those cute little flutters where you're not even sure if it's the baby moving or it's just your body just you know you know doing things on its own you know that i mean that period is very cute you always try to catch different you know movements and all that Right now, it's almost as if they've done malias. Malias. <laughs> they've done, they've played malias for my baby. I don't know what's happening. The leg, the kicking, the leg work is now very intense. Like, very intense. There are times that she has kicked me in my ribs and I had to literally stop and hold something and breathe in and out just so that, you know, I can continue working and go and relax. Okay, yeah. So, definitely the kicks in the ribs are now more intense. Like, chill, baby, chill. Don't worry. You come out and you play football. Yeah, pregnancy brain. Yeah, pregnancy brain has really been very, very real for me. Very, very real. Like, I was even saying it during my live stream that my own has gotten so bad now that sometimes mid-sentence, I forget what I'm talking about. Mid-sentence. Or I'm, you're talking to me and mid-sentence, I've forgotten what you're talking about or what we're, we're conversing about. And I'm just like, 
how do I tell this person now to repeat what they just said? Like, I, I, I've lost track of what you're saying. I don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah. So pregnancy pain has been really real. But this woman's bump. This woman's bump. <laughs> okay, she's having twins. Oh my God. Oh, it looks painful. <sighs> it looks painful. I'm sorry. I hope I don't look judgy. But you are sad that you are going to miss your bump. Okay. <laughs> okay. Said no pregnant woman ever. Okay, but yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. But mine, mine comes after I give birth. After I give birth, sometimes I miss my bump. Not really my bump. I just miss feeling the baby move inside me. That's the only thing I really miss about being pregnant. But missing my bump, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, wow. Wow, 37 weeks. <laughs> 37 weeks, guys. That's why it's very good to, you know, keep fit before and during your pregnancy, okay? But I can't relate. I can't relate. When I stand up on my bed and go and ease myself to come back to my bed, I start panting, okay? <laughs> I start panting, so I can't even imagine doing headstands and all that, behind stands. Nope. Yeah, I can't relate. Uh, but all the best to this woman. Like, she's actually a superwoman. We all are, okay? We're all super heroes in our own ways okay different superhero powers is what we all have differently okay so yeah no woman is more super superior than the other <laughs> yeah no pregnant woman has more superpowers than others we just have different types of superpowers okay mine is being able to film while being pregnant <laughs> hmm Which thing? That thing that was the planting thing. How's motherhood, you ask? <laughs> this is how. <laughs> Two and five stars. There's a little bit left. Look it off. You'll sleep great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys. The one I experience now is that I can't eat or drink anything without somebody coming to ask me for it. Like. I just can't like even if my kids have eaten all the food in this world the moment the moment i take up a drink or take up water they will now come mommy i want to drink water and how do you tell your child no don't drink my water how do you deprive a child of water <laughs> okay <laughs> so it's actually very annoying i end up giving them the water but it's very very annoying when i can't even drink water and drop cup like literally that Igbo saying of you know allow someone to drink water and drop cup like in my house right now i can't drink water and drop cup like it's not even possible somebody will show up from nowhere and ask me for water yeah okay, let's look at one last video okay yeah Eh, baby, Oku. I can't even beef you, man. <laughs> oh my god, she's so cute. Like, she's really, really cute. I even like how. Let me reduce the volume. Mm. I even like how she's changing outfits. Uh huh. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. She's actually very cute, but I cannot relate. Maybe I could have related to this video in my first pregnancy when I actually, yes, then I had nothing to do. It was just me and my baby. And if you are if you if you are pregnant now and you know you don't have other kids and you're just there, especially if you don't have a job, you know, on top of it, 
I'm sure you can relate to this video. Like most times, all you're doing is just arranging and rearranging your baby stuff, you know, buying this, ordering that, checking out this, cleaning that, you know, yeah, that's what you do <laughs> at that stage. But at this stage of my pregnancy, I don't even have time to even change outfits. Like I don't even have time to film a video like this, even as in just for TikTok. I don't even have time for that. I don't talk of, you know, changing cute outfits and looking cute like this. But yeah, it really fits her and she's really beautiful. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first reaction video. Hopefully, if you guys like it, I'll do more reaction videos to, you know, TikTok or any video you want me to react to, basically. Just send it to me and I'll do a reaction video on it, okay? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.